Hey guys, Justin here. Um, welcome back to Operation Liver. And uh, just wanted to give you a quick update. As you can see, I am back in the happiest place on earth, which is Tampa General. Um, in this weird room last night. But a uh, quick update on me. Um, I was up to 116 pounds. And this morning when they weighed me, I was 111, which is way the wrong way for, especially for one day's worth of being in the hospital. Um, so I've got to figure that out. They did put a new nose tube on me, as you can see. And this time they just taped it instead of putting the, uh, starts with an H on it. The string that goes through my nose with magnets. Um, so it didn't, it wasn't that painful to be installed or whatever. Um, still annoying in the back of my throat, but other than that, you know, I can live with it. Um, let's see, they called me on Wednesday because my blood work was kind of whacked out and asked me to come in and they couldn't do direct admit so I had to go through the ER and then I spent seven hours in the ER waiting room then they got me to another room in the ER or in the ED and I spent maybe three or four hours there. But during those three hours, they were doing some, they did uh, chest x-ray, they did, they did a couple things, blood cultures. Um, so they didn't just totally sit around. And then, ouch, for some reason they needed my ER room, so I moved literally across the hall to a different ER room. And, um, yeah, not quite sure why, but I did. Um, finally, let's see, it must have been I don't even know, 12, 1 o'clock today, like in the afternoon. Thought I got a room on a floor. Maybe it's, maybe it's been longer than that. But it was, it took a long time. It took them, um, I think 13 hours to get me from my truck to a, a, admitted to a room. Um, and they knew I was coming. So, it's, uh, it's crazy out there right now, COVID. So, be careful. Um, they say that that's what's slowing everything down and getting everybody in and out and things like that. So, um, it's definitely still around. Nothing to, to stop thinking about. Um, I was watching some TV the other day and it was like every episode or every show has one or two episodes where they're, oh no, the COVID and they're wearing masks and then all of a sudden it's just back to normal TV show. So I thought that was pretty funny because they expected it to last so short. And here we are in um, February of 2021 and we're still dealing with it. So, um, what we're doing today is a MR, MRI of the liver, MRCP. Um, they have it scheduled, sort of, they have it scheduled for today, not a specific time. So, um, when we find out what that time is, I'll be able to eat. Right now, I can't eat until I know that there's four hours. Between the test. Um... 
so I've, yeah, I got, I've gotten really antsy here in the hospital, really itchy. And I think the itching is starting to get worse. I think it's the liver starting to, to kick in. I mean, my bilirubin was 42 the other day. So, um, that is four times anything I've ever experienced. And so I think I, I think I'm just starting to get all of those symptoms finally. Um, and that sucks because, uh, they're not fun. So symptoms of, of like end stage, like right before your, your transplant is the the swelling of the feet and the arms and um i'm on a pill for that it's on benadryl because you itch like crazy then it doesn't help when you have bandages and monitors and sticky stuff pulling at your skin anyhow um what else tired um that's what I've experienced in the past. This time, I haven't really had many problems except until now. Now I'm very itchy and um, forgetful and slow and very, very, very weak. Um, my body needs to be 140 just to function, so. Sorry about that, nurse walked in. Um, Stuff's been pretty good here. Um, there have been a couple of hiccups this trip that got fixed very easily, but um, they were also big, big deals. You know, one of my antibiotics you have to mix thoroughly before you infuse, and it never got mixed at all. So all I got was a bag of saline, which doesn't hurt my body at all, but it means I didn't get my antibiotics, so things like that, um, and everybody's busy, but those are really, really important things, so you have to have an advocate for you, mine's my wife, and she checks and double checks and triple checks and isn't afraid to tell anybody that they're wrong, um, and you gotta take care of yourself. You gotta watch what you're putting in your mouth and how much and know the different pills you're taking because I am the worst at knowing what pills I'm taking. So um, make sure you know that or <sighs> bring a small notebook or something like that. Um, all right, that's it for today. Um, I uh, guess I'll update you when I get out of here.